The second thing is this, that even when we do take action, we must make sure that that is effective. Now, there have been three courses of action which have been suggested here today. The first one has been, as in the motion, the ban which the, the, the French government uh, under, undertook. Now, that ban, of course, is only for um, bags which are non-biodegradable. There is the, the information which, and the, advice of which, the legal advice which we have been given uh, is that um, given the EU legislation, and I could bore you with all of the details of that, but I'm not going to, it's Article 18 of the EU Packaging Directive, um, that, that uh, uh, it would be illegal under that. Now, I, am, I must say, since I'm not a Europhile of any sort, there actually might be some attraction uh, for me to bring forward some measure which would defy EU um, regulations. But the, the, the fact of the matter is that it would not be able to stand um, according to the legal advice that um, we have been given for a ban on all plastic bags. The second one, of course, is the levy. And much has been said about the success in the Irish Republic. And whilst there were initial falls in the Irish Republic, let's look at some of the facts about what has happened in the Irish Republic. First of all, in terms of usage, although there was an initial fall, that usage has gone up again by about 50%. In the Republic, uh, the tax has gathered €110 million, Euros, which would equate at 15 cents per bag at over 733 million plastic bags. Um, so again, uh, it has not been um, all that effective in terms of the, the, the overall number of bags. And indeed, the levy from the tax has gone up from 7 million in 2002 to 17.5 million in 2004. And for that, I thank the member for Upper Ban, who has um, uh, put those figures into a press release as the environment spokesman for the Ulster Unionist Party. So the evidence is not all that clear that when you impose a levy, that it will have a permanent effect. It may have an initial effect because, of course, around that time there will be an awful lot of um, advertisement and an awful lot of media attention. But I think that, and this is where the communication bit comes in, which was, has been mentioned by the, the, the member for East Antrim and by some of the members of my own party uh, on this. When it, if we're going to make a real change, then we have got to change the culture. The kind of culture that when you walk in here, you pick up a a glass rather than a plastic cup, when you go into a shop and somebody hands you a bag to put your, your goods in. I went into a shop this morning, bought two books, and automatically the, 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 the girl who sold me them handed me a plastic bag. I didn't need a plastic bag for it. I didn't take it. But, you know... Uh, <laughs> it, it wasn't the kind of books we'd go into a brown paper bag anyway, let me assure the member. <laughs> Um, but, but, you know, and I suppose that, and, and that's where, that's where the, the, the kind of change uh, and the, the, the attitudinal change comes. Voluntary agreements, I, not, I don't know whether the voluntary agreement will work or not. All I can say is that the evidence so far is that at least it has some success. Um, those shops which have tried voluntary agreements reported about 40%. Uh, usage has dropped by about uh, 40 per cent, where they're pushing the issue. And I suppose it remains to be seen, and we will monitor the situation. However, there is always a cost attached to regulation. And personally, my philosophy of government is the less regulation we can impose upon people and the more we can bring people along and get, persuade them to do the right things, the better. Because regulation, first of all, it's irksome, Secondly, it sometimes has side effects that you don't intend it to have. And thirdly, as the member for Strangford pointed out, there, it, it is not without its costs. And the, the regulation for the, the, the plastic bag tax, he, he had um, indicated a figure of about £3.5 million. I, this is an issue which I have no doubt myself and my department will be coming back to, uh, Mr Deputy Speaker. It's something which I think... There is no easy answer to. There is no one of um, requirement which will deal with it. 
and uh, I think that it requires more than simply the, 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 the kind of approach which has been um, outlined by the, the, um, by the uh, proposer of the motion. The one thing that I will make clear to him, despite his scepticism, is that, first of all, my department has been proactive. Secondly, we do take this issue seriously. And thirdly, and I suppose the use of debates like this in the Assembly today is that we will use whatever means we can to get the message over to the public that we should try to move towards the use of carriers which, uh, for messages, etc., which are more sustainable and less polluting in the environment.